mate, I honestly absolutely love this place. It's it's one of my favourite places in the entirety of the United Kingdom. It's unreal. All right, everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome along back to this brand new video. And today we're uh, doing something quite interesting. <laughs> that you might be able to hear is what we think is an osprey over in the distance. So that'd be cool. That would be really cool if we see that actually. Jake, what are you doing? Building a boat. Here it is. The Titanic. Mark two. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You uh, you hopeful? Uh, should get us there. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Anyway. Mark, fingers absolutely crossed. So we've got a lot of footage to get off that island, and we've got a lot of gear to get on this boat. So it would be very embarrassing if we go down in the middle of this lock. There is an osprey out there. We can hear it, it's making noises. Right then, so we are here in Loch Lomond in Scotland. Um, some of you may be familiar. Out that way is an island, it's actually past that one. Um, and on that island are wallabies. Wallabies in Scotland, it's the only wild wallabies in Scotland. And we're gonna get a boat out there, <laughs> stay on the island for a few days, film these wallabies, because I'm making a documentary. Right, first test of the Challenger 3. Is it gonna... Right, is it floats so far. Is it gonna float or sink with us in it, look? You going? Yeah. Oh, push me off. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait. Well, it floats. What? And I ain't coming back. It floats well, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> and I've landed. Flipping neck. Yeah. That's slender man. Oh my goodness me. Now the trip is official. <laughs> That's right, we've got Wildlife with Cookie t-shirts now available. There are currently three things to choose from, all in black with the Animal Anomalies logo embroidered on the left pocket for a quality finish. If you want to support the channel and rock some comfy clothing, all while looking smart, then head over to wildlifewithcookie.co.uk and take a look. There's clothing as well as photography prints to choose from and all profits go back into making these videos. This is only just the beginning, but more will be available further down the line in differing designs and colours. With that said though, here's Jacob rocking it and looking smart. As. Fits quite nice as well. Yeah. Lovely. Right now I'm ready to adventure. Oh, focus. Do your job. <laughs> it's gonna be going in circles. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're floating. Look how good that looks. Floating, brother. Yeah. But we're just going in circles. <laughs> Uh, so everything seems to be going okay so far. The boat is floating. Famous last words. <laughs> the boat's floating, we're moving, we're on our way over to the island. Um, it's like 100 meters or 200 meters to this one. We're gonna go around that side and then through, there's like a gap, they're like two together like this. You are going to go through the gap. Um, over there, Highland Cow on that island. How mad's that? Cool. Yeah. He's still putting on all the work. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> so you paint a picture of a face A face that wasn't even close to mine I know I shouldn't be in love But it's so hard to move on You haven't changed, you stayed the same I'd still love you anyway I'd give you the world like I promised I would Even though you wouldn't do the same I'd give you the world like I promised Even though you wouldn't do the 
And we've landed on the island. He's, he's doing some, he's doing drone work. It's up there somewhere. Right, so we've got the tent loaded. The boat has landed. I'm in barefoot and my feet are hurting. But we're here, Wallaby Island in Loch Lomond. With the tent on it. <laughs> um, that went a little bit flat and got me a bit nervous. It's all good. So we haven't been out for a walk or anything yet. We just landed, set this up. And uh, yeah, got all of our stuff ready to, to go and all that. Food, obviously, the bags, the gear, sleeping bags, uh, a sleeping thing. Room one, room two, we're not sharing, obviously. But we've just set about for some uh, drone footage to sort of get the, the ball rolling. What time's it now, like, just gone seven? It's just on seven in the evening. Um, got all of this to go and explore. Uh, there might be some bad news about this island. Quite a lot of bad news actually, but um, we'll get to that at some point in the video and I'll explain why I'm here, why we're here actually, and what we're doing and what we're trying to create and stuff. Big man, what you got? Osprey. What is it? An Osprey. Look. Where is it? I can't see it. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there, right there, right there. Yes, there we go. Flipping Osprey, mate. Look at that. Oh my word. He's gone. How sick is that? It's pretty awesome to know that's here as well, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, this is wicked because one of the things we've come to film is obviously the wallabies, and then we've basically tried to find other things on the island that could put. The, the planning permissions and whatever in jeopardy um that's a big one that's quite ospreys are very protected in this country i think is it is it i'm i'm not sure if i'm right is it 500 meters you have to be 500 meters away from a nest something like that i think i think it is something like that so that could be quite interesting because obviously that's flying straight over in chconican which is where we are wallaby island and uh, it'll be interesting to see if it's got a nest. It's right here again, look. Ready? Look at it. Oh, it's wicked. Now, I'll tell you what would be good. If we can get some close-up footage of that, that'd be wicked. But uh, Jacob's currently on, he's on photograph duty, because we've got another project we're trying to sort out as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's amazing. That's like the first time I've ever seen an osprey, so that's real cool for me, that is. Well, that's annoying. That just came flying over. Scared the osprey off. Flipping it. People, eh? Right, here we go. After the osprey, getting a bit of that footage, we're now trekking to find an elusive red-necked wallaby. Two years ago, Katie and I were here Oh mate, Katie and I were here to uh, film Animal Anomalies 3, the redneck wallaby, and there was a big part of the island we wanted to see anyway, which was this colonial house um, sort of thing, it was like a, not colonial, that's not the right word, but um, this old like lodge on the island, like 1920s it was put up, wooden thing, and it was derelict, um, which is... It was really cool to see. It was like this old antique looking building um, and it had history on it. It had a nice mural um, just on one of the walls and it was cool to just relive that and walk through it. Um, but what I'm about to show you is uh, what's made me quite sad anyway. It's a lot of history. It's been turned to ash. Um, this is very suspicious. The timing of it, the fire to happen, um, for reasons X, Y, and Z. That's uh, it's really quite sad. And here we have a resident of the island, Wallaby Island, also known as Inch Conican or the other way, vice versa, whatever you want to be. 
Look at that, it's like a right juxtaposition. One thing's burnt down, one thing still stands. We've got ourselves a redneck wallaby. I just won't ever get bored of seeing <laughs> wallabies in Britain. Wallabies in Scotland, the only wallabies you can find in Scotland are on this island, Inch Conican. Um That, very sad. That, right about there, is a, if you're asking me, a, su a success story. It's amazing. This right here signifies the top of the island, the summit. And if we look off down into this direction, you can see how high up we are now. Um, we found a couple of wallabies. Haven't seen any deer yet. But it's just such a lovely place. Like it's, it's just got this feel to it. It's just ancient woodland. It's untouched mainly. Obviously, there's a uh, a house that was built in the 1920s that's been burnt down. But other than that, it's just it's nothing. No people, and it's wicked. You get a real Jurassic Park vibe <laughs> when you're here and you're walking through. And you don't really get places like that in the UK. But this is one of them, this tiny island on the middle of a loch in Scotland. I think boss man over here has found another wallaby. You got one big man. <laughs> he just get his ears. So behind this tree is a wallaby. There he is, his little head poking out. <laughs> Look at him. There's another one down there actually, near the Jacob. Um, but he's trying to get a shot of this little guy here. Basically, we, we need what is known as B-roll. We just need all the footage we can get of these wallabies. Um, and this is the third or fourth one we found so far. Which is really quite nice actually. Uh, this one's quite, he seems quite tame. So I'm going to see if I can get in there and get some shots for you. Scared it straight away. Put my my foot just went straight down and snapped a load of twigs and scared him. Jake was going to be angry. I had like the perfect shot there. It was so nice. And then, oh, who goes and snaps a branch? Eh? Ruined. Sorry. Just as I was about to like zoom in and get a nice up, up close shot of his face as well. Sorry. Disappointing. Um, we found the same ones. I've just scared. There was two down this way. You got a nice shot? Some branches, isn't there? <laughs> there will be a nice shot, eventually. Here's the shot from here, and here's the shot that looks good. <whistles> God, there's so many. There are so many. <laughs> oh my God. That's pretty incredible to see though. Yeah, that, I mean, I've never seen them before like this. Big things as well. Bloody hell, lads. He's bushy. You good, boss? Yep. Oh. Flipping hell. So how many wallabies have we seen? I don't know, like six or seven now? Yes. <laughs> uh, there was two more over that way, but we couldn't film them. So we're heading back to camp. This is probably really grainy, so I'm sorry. But um, we've just found a couple more. There's an adult up there with a youngster. That's the adult. The youngster's just gone over to the right somewhere. And there was also another one over there. Now that's interesting for me because that would suggest there's probably more on this island than people think there are. The last um, survey that was done was a heat mapping of the island. And that came back with seven. We've seen a guaranteed five. Um, and we haven't even covered half the island. So I would guess they're into double figures, considering as well, that one up there has a baby. Oh my God. He's right in the path. He does not give a damn. We're right next to this again, coming back. Oh my word. I hope you've got some nice footage. Yeah. Because, that 
That is a baby. Mate, I honestly absolutely love this place. It's, it's one of my favourite places in the entirety of the United Kingdom. It's unreal. Morning. Morning. How did you sleep? Not the best. <laughs> Shocking. Well, that in the night, what did we hear? Wallabies. Wallabies bouncing around just outside the tent. It was pretty cool. So yeah, we filmed a bit and all that. And now we're just sat down chilling. We've been eaten alive by midges. My face, I can still feel them. Yeah. It's, we, ho it's horrible. We, uh, we were just trying to do a little piece talking to camera. It took us about... 15 takes, 14 of them were failed because midges were just attacking us. It was horrible. It was disgusting. Um, but we've had a good time on the island talking about the wallabies, showing you some wallaby footage. Um, we're going to uh, work really hard on this documentary. Um, it's basically to, it's basically wallaby propaganda. Yeah. Isn't it? Essentially, yeah. Yeah. Because we think this island's wicked and we think the wallabies should stay here. Um, basically, the news is the wallabies are going to be eradicated. And now, eradicated means killed. They're going to be called, killed, just shot, dead. And we don't want that to happen. We think this is a really special place in the United Kingdom. The only place where you could come onto an island, really, and there's wallabies, bar the Isle of Man. Yeah, um, but this is better than that. <laughs> so, there's nobody around. You have them to yourself. Yeah, this is yeah. It's a completely empty island. It's wicked, um, and it had a good bit of history that's it's been wiped out now. In again, suspicious circumstances. I think the whole thing's a bit weird. Um, so that's what the documentary is going to be about. Really, it's going to be about the wallabies. Um, we're probably going to call it like Save Wallabies of Scotland or something like that. Save Scotland's wallabies, and yeah, it should be out at some point. Maybe not straight away because um, we're working hard on it we want to make it as good as we can be uh, as good as it can be and we're going to be talking to a lot of people and doing a lot of different things yeah. this whole video really was just to show you what it's what we're doing and um, the precursor to the documentary film thing yeah. so should be all right it'll be around soon anyway have you enjoyed the island yeah it's been awesome it's good right. isn't it it looks properly like prehistoric, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's all overgrown, ferns and everything, and just nobody around. Mosses everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And wallabies. Well, yeah, and wallabies. We didn't and film ospreys. it. Oh, and an osprey, yeah, actually, it's a good point. There's an osprey that's been flying about. That's wicked. Uh, I think I might have got a bit of footage of that, actually. Yeah. Um, but last night, this freak went for a swim in the lock about 10 o'clock, and I was sat here just minding my own business, and then I heard a bit of hopping just behind the camera. Um, and I thought, oh, there's a wallaby nearby. Jacob, who's in the lock, shouts that he's, there's literally a wallaby on the beach. Try to film it, and he, he, he hops back into the bush. But um, I got a good view of him. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it, but I heard it. <laughs> um, but it was really cool, like just stuff like that. He was obviously coming to have a drink, saw Jacob, and thought, hmm, then saw me and ran away. Um, have that effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scary boy. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy the documentary when it comes out. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video, just sort of like a casual one, walking around Inchconacan, Wallaby Island, looking at some cool animals and stuff. Wallabies, one of my favourites. One of as well, yeah. Yeah, ones that I don't want to see go. I think they should stay here, non-native or not. I don't think they're invasive. There's a big difference. Yeah. 
But I think that's where I end it. All right. We're. Uh, I think we've done. So we're gonna go do something else. So uh, stay tuned. See you later. Nice one.